In this video, we're going to have a look at how to multiply decimal fractions. Let's start off with having a look at what happens when you multiply with powers of 10. Because our decimal system consists of powers of 10, each time you multiply by 10, the comma moves one space to the right. In our example, we need to multiply by 100, and that of course is 10 to the power of 2. So the two zeros indicate that our comma needs to move two spaces to the right. The final answer then, 463,9. Next, let's have a look at what happens when we multiply with another decimal. You can, of course, always choose to rewrite these numbers in normal fractions. And once you've done that, you can multiply the numerator, that will give you 28, and the denominators to get 100. This can then be rewritten as a decimal fraction, and that will be 0, 0,28. Or you can choose to have a look at the number of decimal places that you have originally and add them up. In the example, each number has one decimal place, so in total we have two decimal places. This then also tells us that the final answer should have two decimal places because the original 10 times 10 denominators will give us a denominator of 100. Next, we can simply multiply 4 times 7 to get 28. And because our final answer needs two decimal places, the comma won't be after the 8, but will move two spaces forward, and our final answer will be 0, 0,28. In example 3, our values simply get bigger. So I'm going to start off multiplying the two numbers without any decimals. And for this, we're starting off by multiplying 526 by 3. 6 times 3 is 18, and the 1 gets carried over to my tens. Then we have 2 times 3, which is 6, and adding the extra 10 will give me 70. And finally, 5 times 3, which is 15. Next, I'm going to multiply by the 10. Because I'm multiplying by 10 and not actually 1, I add a 0 at the end of my number. Now I multiply 526 by 1, which is 526. Putting the 0 at the end ensures that I'm multiplying by 10 to get 5,000. 260. And now we can add 8 plus 0 is 8, 7 plus 6 is 13, and the 10 is carried to my next line, 1 plus 5 plus 2 is 8, and finally 1 plus 5 is 6. The final step is to go back to the two original numbers and use the number of decimals that we had there to determine the number of decimals in my final answer. So I start off with 6838, but because the original numbers had three decimals in total, the comma moves three spaces to the left, and my final answer is 6,838. In the next video, we're going to have a look at how to divide decimal fractions.